Hi guys, so I thought I would share my November favourites with you guys today. It is already the end of November, how crazy is that? This year has gone super duper 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 duper, duper quickly. But um, yeah, I'll just get straight into it. The first one is my Laura Mercier foundation. This is the Silk Cream foundation. And I have like peach ivory and rose ivory. I don't really know which colour I'm meant to be because I went pretty much in the first like within a month of each other and I was matched to both so I just had both and I because I lost one and found it again. Anyway, um, I use both of them into whatever that word is, either or, and it doesn't really have much difference. I think one is slightly more pink and one slightly more yellow but who knows. So yeah, these are the two I like. I really like this foundation apart from the fact it sits in any fine lines. So if you had fine lines around your eyes, like around the um, crow's feet area, or if like sometimes I hold my eyebrows up too long like this when I'm over exaggerating or whatever and I get a little line there which just is where I'm crunching up but the foundation sits in it really really badly which really annoys me so it's a good foundation but that does annoy me um, the next one is a nail polish kind of combo the first these are in my autumn favorite polishes I think it's called um, this is the first one it's by Barry M and it's in raspberry and then this is the Deborah Lipman colour and it's in Razzle Dazzle. It's so so pretty. But this looks amazing over the top of this one. So yeah. Um, the next one is a lip combo. And the first one is my Revlon Lip Butter in Strawberry Shortcake. And I'm sure you've all heard about these. These are really creamy, really lovely, just great kind of everyday colours. And then I've been loving wearing Nars's Turkish Delight over the top of it. Even though this is more like a spring summer kind of look, I've been really liking it with dark eyes, so go figure. So yeah. The next lipstick is I'm pretty sure you can't get it anymore. I'm pretty sure this line was discontinued years ago and I really should throw it away, but I really like the colour and I like the feel of it, so I'm not going to. And it's by Rimmel London and it's like a cool something? Cool shine lipstick. And it's this red colour and it's in Vigor, I think it's called. I guess it doesn't come out that red, it kind of comes out pinky. But um, it's actually got sparkles in it and it's really, it's like a gloss kind of feel. It's really shiny and it doesn't dry, if that makes sense. It kind of stays like a liquid, which I really, really like about it. And it feels cool on your lips, which is really interesting. And I really like them. They're probably one of my favorite lipsticks. I've got a couple of them. I probably should throw them away, but it's not gonna happen. So yeah, the next one is a blush and I have loved this blush for a long time and I just didn't reach for it because I've had it for a while and I was going for other blushes and then I really sort of discovered it I guess and it's Max Pink Swoon and it's probably not going to focus so that was pointless but <laughs> it looks like this and it's a really really hot pink in the pan and when I swatch it it's not so bad it's quite muted because this is a what is this? This is a sheer tone, but it definitely is buildable, which I like about it because you can add more for night time or anything like that. But um, yeah, I love this colour. The next one is a mascara that I think some people don't like. I think my mum doesn't like it. And it's the L'Oreal Paris Extra Black 24 Hour Mega Volume Collagen 24 thing. And it looks like this. And it's got this massive brush. And it's a really wet mascara, which is kind of why I like it. Um, and I like using it with a more defining mascara, so they kind of bounce each other out. But I do really like this. It kind of can clump if you don't use the defining mascara or at least like a lash comb or something. But I've been liking it for adding volume. So yeah. Um, and that's all my makeup actual products. I've got a hair product which is this Phil Smith Extreme Style Expert Sea Salt Spray Spray. <laughs> really long name. Um, this kind of just smells like coconuts and it's just a salt spray so you can put it on your hair when it's still wet and it will just dry that more tasseldy way. Tasseldy, not tasseldy. Um, so yeah, or you can use it with a diffuser and a blow dryer and it will give you really beachy waves. But I just really like this. I think it's great. It's really inexpensive um, and it's just as good as a more expensive one. So yay for that. The next thing is this hot chocolate mix, which is probably really unhealthy, but it just is the creamiest, nicest chocolate mi hot chocolate mix ever. And I actually do use it with milk, not with water, even though it says water. But yeah, and it's the Aero Hot Choc Bubble Mix. I don't know. And it even smells good. It's just like a chocolate mix. Really, really yummy. Um, 
Next thing is Disney movies. I have bought more than a couple of Disney movies this month and I just love them. They just bring you back to my childhood when we had hundreds of videos of Disney DVDs, hundreds of videos, but now you have to repurchase them all because who has a video player these days? I don't have a video player. And also videos just don't work. I remember from rewinding them and playing them so much they would half like be scratchy halfway through. I don't know if that makes sense, but they just wouldn't work after a while. So I'm sure they don't work, but we don't have a video player anyway. So I have been picking up the DVDs when I have been seeing them and I've just been like, I really want to watch them. And this is one of my favorites, this is Aristocats. I love it. Toulouse. Um, And then the last favorites is a candle, which I will just get and it's like the holiday tradition i don't even know where this is actually from um and it's pumpkin pie and it just smells amazing and i've been really really loving it it just makes my whole room smell really nice i know like i bought that in tk maxx but i don't know if it's a brand in its own i've never seen it anywhere else but it just smells so good and it's only 5.99 for a really big one and it's lasted me ages and i've been burning it for hours at a time so awesome so yeah they are all my november favorites thanks for watching everybody bye